Welcome, beautiful people around the world. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Yuki, and I hope you're loving yourself as much as I love you all. I really hope so, because today, ladies and gentlemen, we got some news around the blockchain gaming space, and I found a lot of different games out there that you guys might be interested in. And if there's other games out there that I have not mentioned, please let me know in the comments below, and also in the live stream, because we are live here on uh, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and also Twitter as well. So we are live on a lot of different platforms. But again, let me know in the comments below uh, what games am I missing? But today, chat, we're gonna check in some of the games um, that have made some announcements, have some really good events that are going on. You know, I got you guys covered. So let's jump over and check it out right now. So Pulsar has got a five times boost, chat. There's a five times for Pulsar. Uh, the actual token and again the token is not out it's actually in the game so you can't actually you know invest into the game yet but starting friday uh which i believe well today is actually wednesday but tomorrow when the video comes out it'll be tomorrow so letting you guys know so january 26th they're gonna have a five times boost to get more pulsar and again we're gonna be playing pulsar today as well so letting you guys know i guess they're doing uh a competition and they're trying to balance it for all the players that are playing it so obviously they have three experienced leagues they have the first one for the veterans that have been playing for about six months the seasons uh, uh, players that have played between three to six months and the recruits that have played less than three months so you guys will everybody is going to be in their own section depending on how long you've been playing this game uh, because they have all the record there but again it's going to put you guys in your own categories and you guys will have your own type of challenges and leaderboards that you guys will all compete in and it's really exciting. I, I'm glad that they're doing something like this because again, it definitely adds a little bit of excitement into this game. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is a metal core. And metal core, challenging chat, this is what I was talking about. Start getting your signups right now, metalcore.gg, because they're having an open beta or a private beta, but it's still essentially you gotta get your guys' codes in, right? So essentially the battlefield calls, right? Ready for your strategies, gear up for Metal Core. I'm excited about it, honestly. I'm really excited about Metal Core. I think Metal Core is gonna be really awesome. But pre-register now and secure your position in the front lines. And if you go to the website there, you can actually get one of the three options uh, to be able to get a free vehicle in the open beta. So make sure to sign up right there. I have no link. I mean, you can metalcore.gg or just type in metalcore on Google. You guys will be able to find it. And then obviously type, put your email address and subscribe. Shrapnel is gonna be uh, hosting a uh, a holders play test. So they said we're very excited to invite our operator holders to the pre STX launch plates play test session that is gonna be happening in January 25th, which is on Thursday, 4 p.m through 7 p.m. So it's only for three hours, but again, it allows the players to be able to finally get to play the game. And we do have um, the extraction pack. So whenever they do release that, then we'll be able to actually play with everybody out there. You know, again, I'm really excited for this to re finally release, but um, yeah, they do have a form right there. So if you guys do have an operator or, you know, an NFT, with them you have to make sure to fill it out but again it's probably already gone already and you know this is probably already done so more likely you're just gonna have to watch it from the people that are actually streaming it and all the content that's being put out the next this day or the next day and anything like that so again really exciting uh for shrapnel i'm going to be showcasing some of the uh stuff that has been going on shrapnel so i'm excited about that but the next thing we're going to be talking about is gas hero official and they're doing a web 3 uh for guilds and web 3 streamers so if you're a streamer out there or you're a guild uh they have a guilds of thrones program and it's really awesome i mean i, th I think i'm really excited to see where this is going to go but really we're dead they're uh they're just trying to get a lot of people into this game right and some of the award incentives looks really interesting it says leadership rewards gas war rewards in gmt so it looks like we get gmt and currency in the game uh go to the participating guild so additional gmt rewards are based on a cumul uh, cumulative post-tractive traffic so the more clicks and the more traffic that you get the more gmt that you get into it so it's really interesting for a lot of people that have you know a bigger fan base 
uh, you know, is able to get a lot of GMT. So a lot of currency or just in general, you know, tokens in general, it's really awesome. So I did sign up for it. And if you guys obviously want to sign up, just make sure to go to uh, Gas Heroes on Twitter and find it and just fill it out. But the next one we're going to be talking about is Amino Rewards. Now I've talked about Amino before. Amino is also is now going to be training on BNB chain and it goes live today actually. And obviously, and if you're watching the video, it went live yesterday, but approximately at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UTC on PancakeSwap. So they actually have the contract address right there. So you can actually get your Amino tokens there. And also, I believe you can actually, um, I want to say you could probably transfer some of your amino tokens that are on uh, the amino app and you could transfer it into bnb instead of going through eth with all the high prices and stuff like that so really exciting i i'm actually impressed that they actually did something like that so again shout out to amino and uh you know let's jump into the next topic and the next one we're gonna be talking about is dark frontiers i interacted with this post i don't know if the opportunity to get the um the actual you know whitelist but hopefully we can get the whitelist that would be really awesome but six days until the mint uh but you interact with it and you get it so look at me i just put this chance to win <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i'm just trying to win i guess <laughs> but you know if they actually give me a whitelist obviously I'd be really ecstatic because this game looks really interesting and i think um has a lot of potential into it as well so um, if you guys want to jump into it and interact with it as well, make sure to interact with uh, the post or anything like that. And you guys will be able to get access, hopefully get access into the whitelist and then future gameplay with the game. But last but not least, yeah, Nifty Island has been crazy the next, the, these, these past couple of days. I've been seeing a lot of posts on Nifty Island lately. And it, um, you know, honestly, it doesn't it doesn't surprise me because a game like that where a community is involved a lot is definitely gonna have you know a really good community and just a bigger player base, right? I did find this post though, and I I thought this was really interesting. So in Nifty Island, again, you can make a lot of stuff, and someone actually bought uh, a huge island. But look at this, someone actually created Halo Three is not in Nifty Island. But again, someone looks like they made a uh, an old Halo 3 map um, that was in Halo 3 and they put it in Nifty Island. So this is really interesting um, how they built it. it. It looks very similar to how the map um, of Halo 3 looks like. So they're trying to integrate as much as they can into this game so you can actually, you know, be proud of the NFT that you paid for. You spent your money, your hard-earned money on the nft you know obviously maybe trying to make a you know a buck or two from those uh nfts but also be able to utilize them in the game right because most of these games out there you're more likely not going to be able to use your nft until the game is fully released or maybe the game does allow you to actually utilize it so um and again one of these games is nifty island so it's really exciting to see all this great stuff that we have here in this game so um again i'm excited to see what the web 3 space is like because again it's really exciting it's always growing and there's always a lot of stuff happening every single day and i'm really excited to see what you know we have in store for the next couple of days next weeks next months i mean even with this year i mean there's gonna be so much things are happening uh, but hey be prepared man be prepared because again we're coming in hot we're coming in hot with this year so uh 